everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to go through the process of using Zoho to create an online contact form for my classroom website. So I am going to start here at Zoho. So I'm at zoho.com. You can see up here at the top. And then you can tell they got a bunch of tools here. Uh, the one I'm going to go right into is Zoho Creator. Now they, Zoho will provide a free account for you uh, and allow you to have three applications or three forms for free. And there's a few other limitations, but um, that's usually enough to, to get us going. And if you really start needing lots of these kind of things, uh, then it's not too expensive to actually buy an account. But uh, let's go through the process of creating one. So what I want is, uh, the whole purpose of this is so that when a, a visitor comes to my website, in this case we're talking about teachers, uh, a teacher website, when a parent, say, comes to my website and they need to contact me, they want to send me an email, uh, instead of me putting my email address on there and making them you know, copy it and go to their email program and write the email and send it to me, uh, I'm going to create a little form they can just fill out and hit submit and that will send whatever they put in my form that will grab all that information put it into a database so I'll have a record of it will also I can set it up so that it will also send me an email with all the information they put in the contact form in that email for me so uh, that's what we're going for here so let's get started okay so I've already signed up for an account and it just takes a minute or two to do that and now I want to uh, create a new application. So big blue button over here, create new application. And this is going to be my contact form. And uh, since this, uh, it, they call it an application, but in this case our application is just one form, so I'm going to use the, uh, the, the name in the same place. Okay, so then I'm going to make this form public so that other people can see it and uh, just get the time set here accurately um, so just go to mount standard time let's see Boise is on our time so that'll be fine and I'm just going to create it from scratch and click create now okay so now I'm here ready to start creating this form and they've got all these pre-made types of fields that I can drop in and I'm just going to first one I'm just going to drag and drop it over here and I want this to be the name field so I'll put that in and there's a little options menu here and I want this to be required because if somebody sends me a form they got it and they need to be willing to put their name in okay so there's the first one that little asterisk that little red asterisk means that it's a required field if I change my mind on that I can always open this up and go up here to edit this field and that'll open that menu back up okay so I need their name uh, and then I'm going to want their email address. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do something different here. Now, if I use that, if I drop in this pre-made email for, uh, field here, then their email needs to be um, formatted just right. So instead of making that a problem, and you know, if they if they make a typo or something, I'm just going to put another plain text field in and name it email. And I'm still going to make it required. And, well, you know what, I'm not going to make that re it required because maybe, you know, I've got a parent who doesn't have an email or something like that and I won't make it required. Um, and put that in. Okay, and then if somebody, if they don't have an email, they don't have to fill it out or if they put their email address in and they make a typo of some sort, well, it'll still let them through. Um, again, uh, that is... Uh, sort of up to you how you want to do that but you have the option there if I decide well I really think if they're gonna put an email address in I think it want I think I want it to be formatted accurately so I'm gonna change my mind put that in under options I'm not gonna make this required so they can leave it blank but if they do fill it in their email has to be accurate or it has to be a valid email address formatted correctly Okay, so I need that's the minimum amount of information, and now I'd like it, uh, a bigger box where they can type in a whole message. So that's going to be my multi line, and I'll just write this is the comment or comments, that's fine, and of course I will make that required. Okay, 
So that goes in and then I think, okay, what other kind of information do I need here? Uh, I might want to know what class they are in. So I'm going to put a drop down menu here um, and I can type what class and I've already typed it in once, so there it is. What class is your student in? And maybe I teach geometry and I teach and you can see I can just create um, these data input so I'm letting my visitor give me information uh, let's see how about we do a little pre-algebra okay and uh, again I can make that uh, required or not I'll leave that one blank so if they miss that that's okay or I'll leave it so that it's not required Okay, what class is your student in? Let's see, what else might I need? Um, uh, you know, I, I'm going to drop in one here that says, uh, how would you like me to contact you, or how would you like me to respond? So I might say, okay, I, I'm, you want me to email you, uh, you want me to call you on the phone, or maybe you need um, an in-person appointment. Okay. And I want that to be required so that they tell me how. Now, if I, I haven't asked them for their phone number, and if somebody checked phone number, I probably need a field here that they can put their phone number in. So I'm just going to add one more here. And this is going to be phone. Um, if I could type. So I'm going to use phone if needed. And not, I'm not going to make that required. I'm going to leave that unchecked. Say done. Okay, so now I've got my form all set up, ready to go. And it's going to automatically have the submit button. And if I don't like that word submit, of course I can come in and just say um, send. And now that will show up on there instead. Okay, so my form's all finished. Uh, and there's a few other things I can do here. So first, I want, to, when somebody fills this out, I want to get an email. Okay, so I've got to come to this email notification field and put my email address in. So let's see, we'll send this to my Google account. Um, and I'll put a little subject in. So when this comes in, this is my uh, class contact form. Okay, and that's all I need to put in. Um, just so that when my this gets somebody fills out the form I'll get an email and I want to make sure that I include the user submitted data so that that's what will come in the body of this or in the message area okay uh, so leave the form just the, the, the from just as it comes up put the email I, I address that I want this con this data sent to and I just put a subject line in there just so that uh, when it comes in I can recognize it I keep it in my email program I even could create a little rule so that it um, so that it sorted them for me and I'm gonna say done to that okay so that is finished now so you can see I got this big button up here that says access this application okay so here's what it looks like right now um, and I could send visitors here and have them fill this out and it would put the data in so for instance um, let me just uh, put in some information here quick so my visitor might be filling it out something like this oh geometry how about through email I'm not gonna put a phone number in and then I click send um, and it says my data was added successfully and that might be nice to put a little more personal message in there which we can do so I've just put information in <clears throat> or I've just pretended I filled out this form so that information went into a database and I can see it right over here there's my contact form so I can see there's my first entry into this database uh, with all the information that I just filled out in that form okay so that came back not only did it come into here but let me pull my uh, Gmail account up over here I just got this email here and you can see that that same information came to me in this email okay so I could I could I've got a record of it two places it automatically goes into the database it doesn't automatically have to come into an email okay so that's all good but what I really would like is for my visitor just to come to one of my pages um, and fill out this form. I don't want to send them here, but here in the contact form under more actions, 
you can see there's a permalink. So that is just the address that I could give out. Okay, that's I, I, people. I, people could link to it. They would come and they would see this form just like this. Okay, but I don't. That that's fine. But I I have a website and I want this to show up inside my website. And that's what this embed in your website is for here. So I'm going to click on that, and you can see it's just a little bit of code. I'm going to copy that out. I don't even really need to know what it means. And now, if I'm using Dreamweaver, um, so I've just switched over to Dreamweaver. <clears throat> I've got a page up here on my website that I want the form to actually show up right here on this Contact Me page. So right in this spot here is where I'm going to paste it. Now. Uh, I know this class isn't about Dreamweaver, but lots of you probably use it. Uh, or if you're if you're using if you're if you have your own website, you're probably familiar with it. Um, so I'm, I want it to go right here, but if I paste it right here, it just comes in as text. So that's not going to work. So let me undo that. If I've copied code, I need to paste in the code. So I'm just going to go to the code view here, and I've highlighted. If you notice, I highlighted that little where I wanted it to go, and when I go to code view. I can find where that is because it's highlighted as well. So right there, now I'm going to paste that in. And when I go back to design view, I'll see this big um, grayed out box. That means that's where the form's going to show up. So let's just save that and give it a quick preview here in the browser. Okay, so there is my form showing, showing up. Now I would just have to upload this HTML file up to my web server or to my host and the form would be now showing up on my website and my visitors could fill it out and I would get their information into the database into my online Zoho account as well as getting that data here in my email okay sending me an email so a great way to create a form uh, and I just created a simple one of course Zoho lets you create much more sophisticated ones if you need them anyway thanks for watching